<laughs> We're going to the gym. We're going yeah. to the gym. Okay. We're gonna go to the gym. Oh, mama. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make our way over to Anytime Fitness to go get us a workout. Oh, you're driving, by the way. Oh, yeah. Did you get in, mamas? There you are. Okay, let me buckle you in. It's pretty convenient to have this Anytime Fitness just right down the road from where we live. So this is I-40, and then right on the north side, Anytime Fitness. It looks busy. busy right now. I it hope it's busy. busy. It's not busy. No, it's not. Yeah. Right now it's not, but I hope it doesn't get busy. Yeah, this one's not as big as the one that I went to on Ross. But all right, let's make our way in there. I mean, that's gonna sit right there. Uh oh, ready, Mama? Start on the treadmill. Just run a little bit. Then we'll be weightlifting. Mama's getting after it. <laughs> hey, I got me over here. Sissy's just hanging out. Hi, mamas. We're almost done, okay? Go, mamas. Yeah, we're finished up. Come on, Sissy. Yeah, that was tough. Ugh. It didn't really. Oh, it's still windy. It's been windy all day today. Whew. Glad to be done with that. Let's get you in there, Mullis. All right, guys. So here we go. We got run number three of the week, which we take up to Wamego. It's my dedicated run that I do every Wednesday into Thursday morning. Except this time they added Clyde to it. So we're gonna go over to Clyde, Kansas to go drop off about seven pallets or so. So the trailer was tracking, I think it's right here as a matter of fact. I think it's 53209, but it might be 202. Let me see. Make sure what they put on here. Okay, so 53209. And it shows that it's supposed to be in door, door number nine. So that's it right there. All right, we're gonna grab this trailer right here and tie onto it and get it all checked out, make sure we're good to go. All right, so we got our trailer, we got our pre-trip done. Trailer's good, all the tires were good. So we're going to make our way over to the guard shack, that way we can get checked out of here. It's 9.03, our gate time is 9 o'clock, so we're pretty much right on time. The only thing is, is that we're going to have to try to make it over to, I'd like to make it all the way to Parrington, but I don't have enough fuel for it. That trip that I did the other day over to Eudora, Ellsworth and then Eudora, that ate up that whole tank both tanks of diesel so I got I'm in the red right now and the reason I don't like to put fuel up here for one it's a little bit higher two I don't get any credit for it and that's why I like to fill up over there in Panhandle and um, Parrington or at least where I have the rewards but I think I think I should be good should be good to make it at least all the way to Panhandle and fill up it's gonna be a little bit more pricier there but like I said, at least I get some credit onto that card, that rewards card. That way I can buy some drinks and snacks or whatever by, by putting the fuel that I do. So yeah, we'll go ahead and check out of this yard right here at the guard shack and make our way towards Panhandle. We'll be able to make it to at least there and, and we'll get filled up. Well, we're making it into Panhandle right now. I'm gonna stop here at this Sefco and put some fuel because I am in the red so there's no way I'm gonna make it all the way to Parrington but it's starting to sprinkle it's real windy it went from 63 degrees to 53 degrees 
So yeah, it's about that time. I guess that weather is gonna start coming in. They got the roads already with all that de-icer on it. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, we're heading north where it's supposed to be coming from. So I don't know. But yeah, let's get a let's get in here and, and fill up. It's 3:54, so. I mean, it's still higher than what it is over there in Parrington, according to yesterday. I don't know. It could have went up, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and fill up, and we'll continue on our way. All right, guys, we just filled up. $3.54 a gallon. That's how much we just spent to fill up. Yep, makes a difference makes a difference all right let's go in there and pay for this okay we're filled up we got some drinks we got some snacks from this point from uh here in panhandle to get all the way to Wamego, it's seven hours and 14 minutes that's why i like to go all the way to parrington when i have the fuel tube i go all the way to parrington that way i can stop there and that's at least you know a couple hours that i knock off that way it's not so bad, you know, from there it'd be five hours or five, five hours, five hours and like 10 minutes or so. But from here, yep, we got quite the ways to go. And we'll be getting over there pretty early in the morning. Well, as long as we're there by six o'clock, they'll start unloading us. They take a couple hours. And then from there, we'll end up going to Clyde. So we'll have uh, two stops instead of one tonight. But all right, let's go. We got a long way to go. So guys, we're going through Mead, Kansas right now. And it's been like this off and on. A little bit of snow, a little bit of sleet, a little bit of rain. It's kind of been a mixture all the way from, you know, since I left uh, Panhandle to get over here to Mead. But right now the temperature says 28 degrees, but with the wind, the wind is blowing at uh, 25 miles an hour, so it makes it feel like 13. So that's pretty crazy, but yeah, I don't know if you can see that on on the on the video, but yeah, it's snowing here. The good thing is that that it's melting, but then again, we're below freezing, so is this going to turn into some black ice? I hope not. So yeah, that's slowing us down just a little bit to this to this point where we're at. But we're gonna keep on going. Crappy weather, it is what it is. I'm ready for those 80, 90, 100 degree days. You will not hear me complain at all. Trust me, not at all. But yep, so far, this is what, what where we're at. We're going through Ellsworth right now and that store right over there was where I delivered to on Tuesday morning. So yep, that's where I was at Tuesday morning parked back there in the back. So now that we were going through Ellsworth from here to get over to uh, Manhattan and then to Omega, we got about an hour and 30 minutes. So we'll be hitting I-70 here pretty soon. And then from there, it's a straight shot all the way until we get to exit 303. Takes us to Ogden, Manhattan, and then Wamego is going to be 12 miles away from Manhattan. So yeah, the weather's a lot better over here. I haven't had any rain or any snow or sleet since I left uh, Dodge City. But the wind is still blowing. And uh, temperature's the same, 28 degrees, 27 degrees. Uh, we're making pretty good time hasn't the, the weather hasn't really slowed us down surprisingly so yeah we're gonna keep on going get to Omega back up and put our paperwork outside and try to get some rest before we have to go over to Clyde I think I got about six or seven pallets that's gonna go over to Clyde and then the rest is gonna stay there and at the Gene Heartland Foods there in Omega so let's continue on and hopefully we continue
you with this good time. Made it into Manhattan. So from here to get to Omega, we probably got about 15 more minutes or so. But uh, that wind's still blowing pretty good. It's actually already made me use up half of my tanks. So I've got to have a tank now. So that's a little bit more than usual if it would have been just regular, a regular day, a regular night. That wind was still blowing about 25 miles an hour when I was on I-70 and, and I was going straight north for the majority of the time. So I was just fighting it and then I'm fully loaded closer to uh, 80,000 pounds gross weight. So yep, that'll do it. And I've been on the road for seven hours and 20 minutes already since I left uh, Panhandle where I fueled up. So we're almost there. I'm getting a little tired now, but I'll be able to back up and then um, move my tandems all the way to the back, of course, and then get in the truck and get some sleep. So that'll be helpful. pretty peaceful in town once you get into the city limits it's a little bit more calm with the wind instead of being out there in the open road but yeah it's pretty frustrating but it is what it is so yeah let's continue on and we'll get there here shortly all right our store is right here on the right hand side Gene Heartland Foods in Womego, Kansas. All right, so we're gonna make our way to this unloading dock right back over here. And then they got some more pallets out in the back, so that means that we're gonna have quite a bit of uh, returns going back. That's all right, not a problem. Especially if it's going to be a windy day tomorrow as well. That definitely helps, that weight. Having more weight in the trailer on the windy days is a lot better than being empty. So yeah, let's get back up. Alright, we got back up. Ooh, man, that freaking wind is chilly. I'm pretty sure it's in the low teens over here. Yeah, look, these are the extra pallets we'll be taking back. So, it is what it is. <sighs> Put that there. I let him know that I've got some pallets for uh, Clyde today. Usually this is just a one stop, but since they put that extra stop, which they'll do that every now and then, um, We'll go to Clyde, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from here. But yeah, we got backed up and uh, we're ready to go. We got our tandem moved, tandems moved all the way to the back on the trailer. Levels it up back there for him. But yeah, we're gonna get in the truck and get some rest though, that's for sure. All right, I just woke up and took a look outside. And he already loaded up those pallets that were outside. So I'm sure he's already done. And you got the 7-Up guy doing his deliveries. So. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's almost done with everything. And he's going to make his way out here to give me the paperwork. had a yawn yep that was about a three hour nap right there it's currently 828 right now 828 I know that says 32 degrees but um, since I have my truck on it's getting some of that heat from the engine 
but right now I just looked it up too and it says uh, that the temperature is 20 degrees and with the wind at 17 miles an hour it feels more like 9 degrees so yeah it's pretty cold over here um, yeah I'm gonna wait for him to come bring me that paperwork and then we'll be heading over to Clyde which is about an hour and 20 minutes so We'll make our way as soon as we can. So how we're leaving uh, over here from Omega, we're gonna go the back way uh, through these little small towns. Like Westmoreland is one of the towns that we're about to get to. It's about 15 miles away from where we're at right now. But uh, yeah, they're getting like a little bit of flurries here and there. He told me that uh, on the news, they had told him that they were just gonna get a trace of snow but a couple days before they were thinking about three to five inches I believe is what he said but um, yeah we'll take a take a cool little detour we're gonna pass one of their uh, and, I, and I forget the name of it but it's like it's a it's a lake and we're gonna go over this uh, bridge that's like a hundred feet up above it it's pretty cool I might stop and, and film that or take a picture of it like a little bit better but uh other than that, let's make our way over to Clyde, Kansas. All right, guys, we're getting close to where this bridge is at right here. So check this out. It looks like it's just a regular road, right? And then once you get to it, this bridge is elevated. So it's Tuttle Creek Lake is what it's called. They call it the Randolph Bridge. But yeah, check that out. So that's about a hundred, probably a little bit more actually. I'm not sure it doesn't really say but I mean at one point all this was just full of water but uh that's yeah, crazy it's dried out so much since the last time I was here but, yeah this road is pretty cool to come by here but uh yeah it is super down my gosh I've been but I haven't been by here for quite a while but yeah I don't know I'm gonna say it's about 150 200 feet up actually yeah, if you take a look at that, there's where the water's at. But it looks like more like a little river instead of, I mean, what it used to look like. That is crazy. So yeah, this is that bridge I was talking about. Randolph Bridge. Tuttle Creek Lake is what it's called. So, all right, so from this point, we're about 45 minutes away from getting to Clyde. Just a lot of little back roads, and as y'all can see, they got that de-icer sprayed on the road because they do have some uh, flurries in some areas, but not too much right now. So I'm hoping to be out of this part of the world by the time they do get anything. So let's keep on going. Let's get to Clyde. We are almost getting into Clyde right here. Clyde's just a pretty small town. I'm not sure the population, but the bigger town or the bigger city is Concordia which is just north of uh, Salina Kansas so yeah when we get up here this store is just right on the corner where the downtown area is at and um, we'll have to make a pretty sharp little turn but very doable into the alley where they'll have a forklift and I'll just have to move these seven pallets to the back and they'll unload them with that forklift and then take them inside but yep this is Clyde I was trying to see if they had one of the little population things but I don't see it I don't think I've ever seen where these Kansas areas uh, the Kansas towns or cities have population signs like over there in Texas but yeah this is a uh, <clears throat> this is one of those stops that I'll do rarely but every now and then when I do do it it's uh, tagged on with Wilmego it's pretty busy downtown today a lot of people
yeah, see the store's gonna be right here on the right hand side. signal line hopefully nobody else is coming but yeah that's it right here we'll be back in the back let's see okay that car is back now anybody else coming nope all right good deal okay i hope that guy's not stopping back there because that's where i gotta go but yeah see it's this little area right there we gotta make sure we don't jack that car right there so let's make this little sharp turn get it kind of wide Act like we're gonna run into this building right here. Nice and easy. But yeah, they're gonna open that door right there. And then they're gonna unload. I think another truck's already been here. I didn't see very many empties back there, so maybe they already got it. So yeah, let's keep on pulling up just a little bit, and then we'll make our way to the back and they'll be ready to go, I'm sure. I called them when I was about 30 minutes away, so. Okay, let's stop here and see if we're good. Just like that, we're finished up. I knocked it out in 18 minutes. Seven pallets, 18 minutes, went in there, still talked for a little bit. I like coming to the store, man, they're good people. They're really good people. Um, wish I could figure out a way to make it dedicated somehow or another to bring, in, bring their stuff to them. But uh, man, it's kind of hard to set it up with the week that I already have. Um, so when I do get a chance to, um, they're thrilled to see me, but man, I, I like coming over here. It's quick and easy and Can't complain man. They're really good people. So all right, so we're done here in uh, Clyde, Kansas, and we're gonna make our way over to Concordia, which will be We'll take this right at the stop sign And it's gonna lead us straight over to Concordia uh, It's cold too, but man, I worked up a sweat and had a beanie on had a light hoodie on and just moving those pallets around it's actually warmer inside the trailer where the reefers running at 36 32 degrees than it is outside at nine degrees but yeah let's keep on going see we just went around the block there's that store right there Clyde ideal market that's what it's called so yeah let's get going and make our way to Concordia and then head south uh, I'm gonna stop at one of those truck stops one of the rest areas actually that way I can eat some food I am starving haven't ate since last night before I left uh, left the house so let's keep on trucking I'm gonna stop at this rest area right here before I hit I-70 and start heading west to get to 156 where Ellsworth is at so we're still about what is it, about six hours and a half? Maybe a little bit more from getting back to Amarillo. I'm gonna stop here at this rest area and eat my lunch. I am hungry. It's 11.30 a.m. right now. So it'd be a good time to pull on over and get some rest. truck parking only right up here I've never stopped here before I've always just whizzed right by it but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food got to get some food in me it's gonna probably make me sleepy though that's the only downfall yeah I'm gonna take out that in order for me to get pretty straight I gotta ride this curve just a little bit go barely gave it a little tap but yeah we'll just go ahead and stop right here and get some lunch okay so I stopped here in Parrington went ahead and filled up both tanks 537 bucks and then I had to put some death fuel I was almost on empty so I'll put up 38 bucks of that and now I'm going to continue my way over to uh, to affiliated. That way I can get to the yard and um, I think I'm actually going to go all the way to the house 
So if I can make it all the way to the house, I can get a little bit of rest, get a shower in, get some food, and then uh, I've got a run that's going to take us over there to uh, North Texas. And we're going to end up uh, leaving at midnight for that one. So we're not going to have much time, but we're going to have, you know, enough time to spend a little bit of time with the family before I have to head out. So let's make our way through Pampa over back to uh, Amarillo and get home. We made it home. There for a minute I was thinking I was going to have to stop somewhere and get some rest, but now I went ahead and decided to make it home. Um, the only thing is, Mama's still out with uh, with the kids over at Ty's batting practice at D-Bat, and Ja'Kaley had volleyball practice earlier. So it's just been real busy, real busy for everyone, and Mama holds it down at the house and, you know, allows me to do what I do, and you know, it's greatly appreciated, but yep, we are home. Made it home, I'm gonna go in here and get in there and take a shower and grab something to eat, and my window's super nasty, but we'll get that cleaned off later. And we got that run that leaves at midnight, and it's 8.30 right now, so it's gonna be a quick turnaround, so let's get ready to go.